Hey there, it's John and welcome back to another video. Today we're jumping into Minecraft, but with 250 mods loaded into the game. This is a job edition with 200, look, look down here, look, look, 250 mods loaded. This is legitimately 250 mods that I found for the latest version full release of Minecraft. You can't really get mods for the uh, the snapshots. Uh, this is for 1.19.3. And I painstakingly spent an entire freaking day downloading mods from Curse Forge one at a time and testing them against each other, making sure they work. This is gonna be the first time I run this on this desktop, which is not a potato by any means, but let's see if it runs. I have no idea if this is gonna crash. 250 mods, we can actually look at the mods here. You can scroll through. I mean, there are so many freaking mods here. This is the largest number of mods I've ever ran on Minecraft. With Sky Factory, which I thought was a whole lot of mods, which ran pretty smooth at 204 mods. I'll scrub through just so you can see literally everything. The 250 mods does not include the number of libraries installed. I think there's a, I think over a dozen and a half libraries uh, that are also installed on here uh, to make these mods work. Yeah, I, and I didn't, I tried not to do any redundant mods, like not too many biome mods. I think I have one biome mods. Some mods already have biomes in them. I couldn't get away from that, but I, I did like just biomes with plenty and not uh, uh, biomes we will go. I didn't do multiple map mods because those are, that would be lame. That would be kind of cheating, you know? So I, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do uh, roughly enough items and just enough items. I just did one, uh, one versus the other. So that limited the amount of mods I could download. So here we go. Let's go back. All right. So we're going to go to single player. Uh, we did do a test. <laughs> we ran this numerous times. Uh, this is just copied over from my laptop. So let's go ahead and create a new world. I uh, allocated 16 gigs of RAM. It's using all of it right now. And my CPU is at 54 degrees Celsius. <laughs> oh, it's an AMD Ryzen 7. So it should work okay. I think I might have to increase the RAM. Okay, so th that was just, that took a minute just to get to the create new world screen. And we're gonna jump into creative so that I can fly around and show you guys a little bit of the world and see if we could see some of the, the cool structures and things that these mods bring into the world. We're at almost 60 degrees Celsius. No, I think it's staying level at 50, 57 degrees. No, I hit 64 degrees. Oh no, you know, my computer's gonna explode. Okay, it's not going any higher than, oh no. Every time I say it's not going any higher, it jumps. It's at 70 degrees Celsius. I don't know how it's using 17 gigs of memory when I only allocated 16, but hey, you know. Oh, it's joining world. Loading terrain. Here we go. Oh crap. Okay. Oh wow, it's working. Let's go check out some new biomes. This is working really smooth. I am shocked. Okay, there's some little tower here with campfires, but they, they're not working. The campfires are not putting off any kind of animation, but I can hear them. There is no animation or smoke or anything. I don't notice any animals. Oh, let's see if the mobs are moving. Oh, yeah, look, the animations are frozen. It's burning, but there's no animation. Okay, where's that village? Let's go see if any of the mobs are moving. Oh, I hear them. I hear doors opening. I just don't see anything. Like they're moving around us, but I don't see them. Where's the villagers? It just can't handle the animations. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's go to escape. Let's go to options. Let's go to video settings. Let's crank down a lot of this stuff. maximum frame rates. Let's drop that to 30. Uh, V-Sync off. Let's turn this to fast graphics. Back to game. Okay, okay. We decreased a lot of the settings. I saw a door open now, but I still don't see like torches burning or anything. And I hear the wind. I don't see mobs. Oh, this looks terrible. I'm using 22 gigs of RAM. All right, so does it work? Yes. Is it playable? Yes-ish. Can I break blocks? You can, but you don't see them. Okay, if I go to E. Oh, I do have inventory. Okay, I just don't see the items on the ground because there's just no animation. All right, let's try this again. Let's go back to options, go to video settings. We're gonna knock everything down to the bare minimum. We're just turning everything off. Apply. Let's see if it'll work even. I think that it crashed. <laughs> uh, sponge powered, blah, blah, blah. All right, it's finally joining world again. I didn't want to stop the recording too, so this has been recording this entire time. I was afraid that the recording wouldn't start again. Okay, we're at a whole new world because I think the last one just would not work. We changed the setting back. To, I turned that, that mod off because I feel like it was making things not so great. Okay, do we have animations on yet? Oh, the water's moving. Things in the water are moving. What is it? An umber cow. 
advanced dimension of bees awaits ashy mining bees so this is a little more stable it was just that one mod was not really being very helpful this guy's a gatekeeper uh, this is from blue skies mod but look at this mountain range it's all i think this is blackstone right blackstone we got red sand and we have smooth basalt and it looks freaking cool and then this one here is just a calcite looks like the the cliffs of dover well anyways yeah it's working and smoothly. We have all these, we have 10 pages of mods, of uh, of items. We have 127 pages of seven items wide and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, seven. So that's uh, 77, how, how many items is that? It's 17,479 items that we have available to us. That's freaking nuts. And then we go into survival. Oh, the animations are working beautifully. Oh, this is actually working really well. That has a spawner in it, I believe. A zombie villager spawner. That's freaking cool. The frames per second is kind of nauseating uh, being so slow, but it's fine. There's ruins everywhere. I like the fact that, that there's so much to see. And there is a regular village or just... That's weird. I've never seen that before. There's just a, a garden from a village but there's no village nearby and just a random slime block a slime nest computer is using 28 gigabytes of ram right now i think there's a village oh that's a cool looking village it's like an illager village what he's a hunter he's got some decent health on him too that is a cool freaking village imagine instead of having just a an illager outpost they had an illager village that would be freaking sick like this. Come on, Mojang, take note. This is freaking awesome. They're hunting birds too. You see them every once in a while. A bird will fly by, they'll uh, target it with the arrow. Biomes of Plenty is so pretty. There we go. Got ourselves a village. There's a bridges mod. So bridges kind of go over waterways. It's kind of weird. What is that? It's a copper golem from friends and foes. Oh, that's so cute. Shine them up. Look at that. Wax off. These guys are going to walk around. They are so freaking cute. Why these guys didn't win, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway there's a little little tower for copper golems to push buttons look at this they're gonna they're gonna push a button <laughs> push the button oh i love copper golems uh that's from waystones uh this is an awesome village and there are guards in these villages and they got names oh they're shooting at drown okay so villagers villagers do things they do work uh we got, we got uh, albino cows <laughs> yeah i gotta show you guys around a little bit i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to join along and want to download this massive mod pack running on 1.19.3 uh with the most amount of downloadable mods uh let me know in the comment section below and please i need your help in order to name this mod pack otherwise i'm gonna give it what i'm gonna call blitzcraft hope you guys enjoyed smack like if you guys liked and follow along by hitting that subscribe button hey, hey, hey creeper <laughs> until next time see ya